Hey name Dax and welcome back. This is Ash from Heal My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. So a while ago I did a video entitled One Long Continuous Beep But Computer Still Boots Up and Turns On. Something like that. Title in the description below and in the card above. In that video we saw that despite one long continuous beep, not only did the computer turn on, but it actually functioned properly, which was weird. I haven't had a much chance to revisit that, but one particular viewer took a keen interest into the problem and offered quite a few troubleshooting help. Thank you, Brian PCPC. Unfortunately, none of the troubleshooting worked, so I left it aside, pressing on to other matters, knowing that I would have to revisit it very soon. Chance will have it that yesterday I was working on this older Intel dual core with LGA 775 socket, which was left by a client for free. The motherboard is Gigabyte GA945-PL-S3. And after inserting the speaker cable, I had the exact same long beep code despite the computer turning on and functioning properly. Which you can hear right now. I'll stop that. Aha! This time, you mother father, I will deal with you. So I rolled up my sleeve and Google like crazy. Turns out, no one really knows what this one long continuous beep is really about. So I started thinking logically. If the computer is turning on and functioning properly, it means that the beep code must not be a very important one, nor a fatal one. I first did all the usual troubleshoot that one does when facing beep codes, you know, checking the power supply, hard reset, unplugging everything and then plugging them back one at a time, reseating and even swapping the RAM. Also, I even reseated the CPU under there and I also changed the graphics card to a different one. Full details of which is hopefully upcoming in my next video. Stay tuned for the long awaited troubleshoot series I have been promising you guys for a while. Of course, none of the above worked, so I decided to go into the BIOS and disable every warning status I could find and then re-enabling them one by one, each time rebooting. Lo and behold, only after the third trial reboot, I found the problem and hence the solution. For this motherboard, hit delete after turning the PC on, go into BIOS and go down to the sixth tab, which is PC health status. As you can see, I had disabled reset case open status, CPU warning temperature, CPU fan fail warning, power fan fail warning, etc. It was this last one, the power fan fail warning, which was enabled. And since I had no fan connected to this fan port here, that was the problem. Right, so to prove his theory, I've turned the computer on and I've got the power fan fail warning enabled right and i've got a fan connected to the three pin here and see what happens when i unplug it and and we've got the beep noise again the fan stops spinning and that is enabled right so what you could do right now is go in there and disable that but we've shown that this was the problem so i put the fan pin connector back and there you go no more noise okay so that was the issue now if you don't have a fan connected right now what you could potentially do although it's not very advisable is to go and disable that okay and uh, you can uh, unplug the well, for now i'm just going to show you i'm going to unplug the fan and that is still on because we haven't saved it yet so we're going to Reboot with the warning disabled and hopefully this time there will be no more noise when it boots back up. But Ash, I hear you ask, what about the other gaming PC with the long continuous boot? Well, I'm glad you asked because it's exactly the same shish kebab. Now you see this system fan header, those pins, they don't have a fan connected to them, which was what was causing the problem the last time I troubleshooted it. And that I tested it it also works for the same problem. Hopefully I will be covering this in more detail. I mean the troubleshooting series which I have been promising you guys for a long time and we will also include the beep codes problems. 
Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. You know what to do down below. This was Ash from Heal My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. So go ahead, unleash your true potential. Until next time, peace out.